Hello, witches and wizards. Today I am going to be doing an in-depth video here about all of the professors you are going to meet in Hogwarts Legacy. So these are all the ones that are confirmed that we will be meeting. There's actually going to be 11 professors. I'm going to be sort of walking through all of their sort of personal information, what we know about them. I'm not going to be giving too much about their backstory, but I will put something up on the screen for you guys. So if you guys do want to read a little bit more than what I'm saying, feel free to because this video would just be like so long but I will be talking about them in detail for you guys and all of the information will be there so I hope you enjoy it if you guys do don't forget to give it a magical thumbs up subscribe of course if you guys are new hit that notification bell I know so many things to do hit the notification bell so you guys know when I post more videos schedule streams do community polls all of the above um, on the channel and if you guys want to check out more features I do have channel memberships enabled so you guys uh, can be a part of the kitty team if you're interested Okay, so first we're going to talk about potions. So our potions master is going to be Professor Aesop Sharp. So again, remember Hogwarts Legacy is based in um, the 1890s. So late 1800s, they said 1890s. And uh, so these are the professors that are there and not the ones that Harry Potter um, actually had teaching him. So Professor Snipe technically isn't born yet. So uh, Professor Aesop Sharp is uh, essentially his pre-replacement. Yeah, if that makes any sense. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, so Aesop Sharp was a wizard who worked as an or for the British Ministry of Magic and later as a potions master at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. So as we know, that is his purpose in the Hogwarts Legacy game. Um, now, he is... Well, I've been saying he. He's a male. Um, he was born likely an, in and around 1873. His backstory, as you guys are probably reading, is a little bit tragic. Um, I feel like he is one of those ones that he's maybe not going to like love us, love us. But I definitely feel like his backstory is going to at least produce some sympathy, at least for me. Um, one of the things I wanted to mention is when... Professor Sharp was at Hogwarts as a student. He was in Slytherin. So I do think we are going to learn, potentially if you guys decide to do some darker magic or use darker potions, I feel like he will be willing potentially to teach us them all if we get on his good side. Next teacher I would like to discuss is one of my favorites. She's not my favorite, but she's one of my favorites. And I think I'm really, really going to enjoy this class as long as we don't have to work with Bubo Tuba Pass because that is just, <laughs> as they described it in the fourth book, I just, it's, it's just gross. Just gross. Okay. Anyways, she is an um, English muggle-born witch. So she's like, as if Hermione, I guess basically decided she was going to teach at Hogwarts. Actually, funny thing, if you guys have read Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, you will know that um, one of the variations of Hermione's life, if she didn't marry Ron, was actually going to be, and I know spoilers, so plug your ears for like five seconds, um, she was actually going to be teaching Transfiguration. So she was taking over um, essentially Professor McGonagall's job. So I thought that was actually kind of um, interesting as her secondary story. And I could, I think a lot of us could see her sort of being in that role. Anyways, more about Professor Mirabelle Garlic. Um, she was born and like grew up in London, obviously with muggles. Um, and then when she went to Hogwarts, she was sorted into Hufflepuff. So apparently she was a bit like lost and stuff. And then it was kind of like she sort of blossomed, we'll say, um, when she discovered that, uh, you know, magic existed and she was sort of extraordinary. So she just felt like she didn't really belong in the world she was living. And uh, well, it was quite apparent why. So I can see why she decided she would maybe like to work at Hogwarts and with plants because I feel like she could probably really relate um, to a position like that. So I just thought that was really interesting. And I think her backstory is is very interesting. So I hope we get to learn a lot about each of the professors. Um, I think uh, they, they are all unique in their own way. Now, I'm really looking forward to meeting the Defense Against the Dark Arts professor. Now, I'm sorry if I say her name wrong, but I've heard it being said a couple of different ways. And this goes for most of them. Just a bit of a heads up. I'm not going to keep apologizing like a Canadian 
I am Canadian and I'm always doing it. I'm going to try not to. I've already said it. Moving on. Um, Professor Dinah Hecate is going to be the witch who is going to be teaching us Defense Against the Dark Arts. As you can see, she's a little bit elderly. You can tell she has been around a while, but it doesn't mean that she's not powerful. I mean, <laughs> look at Dumbledore. He was over 100 years old and he was the most powerful wizard in the world other than Voldemort, essentially. Now, her backstory, we do know a bit about, but I think we're going to learn a lot more. And she just seems like a really, really interesting um, witch to learn about. Um, it is rumored and stuff that she spent a lot of time with the Department of Mysteries in the Ministry of Magic. So I think, again, she's got a lot of knowledge that maybe we'll have some insight to as we're getting some special classes to help us along with our curriculum since we are entering as a fifth-year student. And our next professor who is already my favorite because I'm really just looking forward to uh, to Transfiguration and being taught by a Weasley. This is wonderful. Matilda Weasley is going to be our professor for Transfiguration. Yes, I know. It is really quite wonderful. Really, really quite wonderful. I'm so sad we never really learned about her and Harry Potter, you know, like... Oh my goodness. Um, so she worked for the uh, British Ministry of Magic um, as well. So I think that's like a kind of a common sort of theme is that a lot of them sort of go out and they work for the ministry and then they kind of gravitate to Hogwarts. Um, obviously, Professor Garlic, I you know, it doesn't seem like that's her story. But again, for a lot of the ones that are a little bit older, they tend to have dabbled a little bit with the ministry. Um, and she is also deputy headmistress. So I thought that was, uh, you know, pretty key point to share with you guys. Now, again, you can read some additional information on the screen. Uh, next for our magical theory, this wizard is going to, I think, be very important on our adventures. We've also heard a lot that he is going to be joining us and we've seen like some gameplay, but, um, Professor Elazar Fig is going to be joining us, I think quite a bit, um, especially early on, I want to say. Um, but he's really interested in the, in the Goblin Rebellion. So he's, he's not only going to be helping us out on our adventure and, you know, working, um, you know, with us specifically, he is, you know, kind of doing an additional thing besides teaching at Hogwarts. He's fighting the re the rebellion and all of that. So I think he's going to have a lot of information for us on the ancient magic, which apparently is why we're being called in as a fifth year. Um, again, I'm still not quite sure why we weren't picked up to go to Hogwarts near one, but I'm sure they're going to touch on that. They They have to. They just have to I don't, maybe our parents didn't let us go I have no idea but whatever it is it's it's just blown my mind since I heard we were going to Hogwarts as a fifth year one little piece of information I must tell you guys that makes him extra brave and full of honor is that he was sorted into Gryffindor and spent his time as a Gryffindor while he was a student at Hogwarts the next professor here, um, I am not sure whether it's Care of Magical Creatures or if that was something it was renamed later after Newt Scamander wrote the Fantastic Beasts books, but I think the class they're saying, at least right now, it, uh, Care of Magical Creatures is what we know it as in Harry Potter, but I believe they're calling it in the game just Beasts, so I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. Maybe it's like an unofficial official class for us um but again we'll find out some more information so if you guys are looking for some like a follow-up video later feel free to let me know in the comment section below and let me know who you are most looking forward to being taught by at hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardry so professor bay hohen is going to be helping us with magical creatures i think this is going to be really important for us especially as we're trying to catch and you know sort of grow with like moon calves you know maybe we'll be getting eventually grindy lows hinky punks who knows right i mean just our just sort of uh our owl maybe she'll be helping us out with or cat or toad i'm assuming we're going to get to kind of pick and choose what we want to actually bring to hogwarts i'm getting the vibe that we get an owl but i'm assuming that there are other options for us hopefully we'll be able to get multiple um we've seen we've been able to pet a cat so i'm assuming you know that's gonna be uh, i'm assuming that it's like again gonna be one of the actual pets that we get to take with us but um it'll be really hard cat or owl I really love owls, but I know kitty, Eris, like kitty, meow. I love cats too. So I don't know. It's going to be really tough, but owls are just so useful with letters and everything. Oh, see, I'm really at war with myself. I think that's quite apparent. 
One of the things that the storyline is really based off of with this particular game is we're really, we're fighting a lot um, against poachers. We've seen some of the dragon fights, you know, kind of like dog fighting, but for dragons. Uh, I was really quite surprised when we saw that. I was like, whoa, we're doing it in like a wooden arena. Like what is going on here? This has some serious magic to stop that from <laughs> catching on fire. Um, but... Uh, apparently she is going to be very helpful in us sort of learning how to handle a lot of the, um, the fantastic beasts, we'll call them, uh, that the poachers have been capturing. And she's apparently, like, she apparently loathes the poachers. I'm assuming they loathe her as well. Um, but yeah, she's, she's got a whole nother story with that that we will be learning about. Now, this professor is our headmaster. Uh, I mean, I don't really know how much he's going to teach us. Apparently, we should just avoid him, right? Because he's apparently just a bit of a nightmare. But Phineas Nigellus Black. Yes, he is a relative of Sirius Black, which I am kind of excited about. But also, I realize, like, he is the most hated headmaster um, while, <laughs> while he was at Hogwarts. He uses, it, like, his position more for his own personal gain than anything else. But in the books, he's very present and he does actually really help Harry, Ron, and Hermione uh, to defeat Lord Voldemort. So he really does do some heroic deeds. Um, he is a Slytherin, but um, I think in the end, I didn't mind him so much in the books. I was kind of, I don't know, I kind of liked his character, even though he was a bit of like a jerk. I just, I didn't, I didn't mind him. He was useful. So uh, just something to kind of think about when you go up against him. Now, he is a pure blood wizard, so he kind of like has that um, whole sort of theory like Salazar Sly Slytherin did, which is, you know, keep as much of the wizarding world between the pure blood families as possible. Now, by the time Harry Potter came around, obviously, uh, you know, things were starting to, we'll say the blood started to thin out a little bit, right? So Slytherin couldn't be that picky because, you know, with the Weasleys being a pure blood family in Gryffindor, there's not that many. There's a list of them, but there's not that many families. And uh, like they eventually kind of die out and stuff like that. So it's kind of like one of those things, the Malfoys, and that's, I think, why they get you know, some of the most respect is because they are so wealthy and they are pure blood. They're prominent. Like they've, they've really got everything sort of going for them um, in terms of being a Slytherin and uh, being well-respected in, in, uh, in the ministry. So I think it's pretty important to sort of note that his sort of ideolo ideology of, you know, how the wizarding world should be is, uh, is I guess, a, an unpopular opinion. He's not a very nice dude. Right. So he was born in 1847. Um, he died apparently when he was like 77, 78. So like 1925. So he's basically only got like 20 to like 35 years after we start the game type of thing. <laughs> like ish. So um, it's kind of sad when you think about it. And I feel like as like a wizard, you know, like Dumbledore was in his hundreds. Like I feel like that's pretty early for um for a wizard so anyways one of the, the things I wanted to mention about him and I know I've talked a lot about him is um that he actually had a portrait that hung at um the black family house right um at, at Grimald Place and he also had one in the in the headmaster's office at Hogwarts so that was the two paintings he could kind of go between which made it very very useful um, you know to kind of be able to go back and forth and relay additional information so there's a lot of um, information about Phineas and Nigelus Black and again if you guys would like to know more feel free to ask me in the comment section below or to do a follow-up okay now we're moving on to our charms professor so Professor Abraham Ronan, he is a bit of an elderly man too. Um, he it looks like he's got a lot of energy and spunk. He's kind of a, a tall guy. He's kind of the very opposite of Professor Flitwick, but in terms of appearance, right? I feel like Flitwick had, and not maybe in the first movie because they changed his appearance around, but I feel like Flitwick had like a, you know, a more youthful look from, you know, to the second movie on, right? Um, but pretty much I feel like in terms of appearance, 
Uh, they they look very different, but I think they're both sort of uh, joyous, and I think they've got a decent personality. Now, the one thing, though, that does concern me about him is he is a Slytherin, or was a Slytherin while he attended Hogwarts, and so he could have a little bit of a mean streak to him, which... Uh, yeah, maybe it's just his decisions, though, tend to be a little bit more, you know, selfish. Maybe that's why he got sorted into Slytherin. Um, but yeah, his his story is another one that, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. It's on, There's some information on the screen. I'll let you guys read that. Um, but yeah, I am looking forward to meeting him and seeing what kind of guy he truly is. We've got three more left. We have Professor, and I never say this right, Sadiavati Shah. Actually, I think I said it okay there, didn't I? Huh. So she is going to be teaching us astronomy. I think what we know about her is, I feel like it's still kind of vague in some ways, but um, she actually teach, since she teaches us astronomy, I found it interesting that she was actually in Ravenclaw while she attended Hogwarts. I feel like when I first looked at her, I was like, she's pretty strict looking and I thought maybe Ravenclaw or I thought maybe Gryffindor um she just kind of had that a like, bit of a McGonagall sort of stern face when I first sort of saw her and I was like hmm those half moon spectacles you know <laughs> I was like oh my gosh um but anyways I think she is going to be uh be an interesting one to get to know for sure I think her backstory is going to be a lot more interesting than a lot of us think now our ghost professor is Professor Cuthbert Binns. I'm betting a lot of you didn't know. His first name was Cuthbert. Ah, so Professor Binns, his story, well, as we know from the Harry Potter sort of books, they didn't really touch on him in the movies, except we did see him maybe once or twice like floating in the halls. Um, but in the books, they do sort of touch on him and stuff. And he's kind of, I don't know, like he kind of made me chuckle a couple of times, but he's really a a dull dull dude and I feel like his death really proved that um so he was a professor at Hogwarts and he he passed away while having a nap nap in the staff room and then he just got up the next day to teach and he just has been teaching as a history of magic ghost for well it feels like forever right so that is just one of those things um but yeah so he's taught a lot of different people that is for sure um he died well before the 1890s I don't have an information on his exact uh death day but if you guys happen to find it out feel free to put it in the uh comment section below but he was definitely gone he's definitely dead before we go to Hogwarts so before 1890 um and so, yeah, but I think that pretty much covers what we need to know about Professor Binns at this point. Now, the last professor I'm going to be talking about here, she was a Gryffindor, which I always find pretty exciting. And I feel like her uh, her story will be another interesting one as well, because she was actually a student that transferred to Hogwarts, okay? So she, I don't think, got sorted necessarily um, as a first year. So I think she has a bit of an interesting story there. Um, but she's going to be, anyway, she's going to be teaching us divination. But the one thing that I did actually find um, from Wiki was that she's actually an animagus, but she... Apparently, I think it was an African fish eagle or something like that. But apparently, she refuses to transform or something. I think it was after her her husband died. So anyway, it was like quite a strange story there. And I was like, huh. I mean, I don't know how useful that particular fish is. I'd like to actually see it. But um, I'm assuming there's not too many animagi right now. So that's kind of interesting, um, you know, that uh, there's at least going to be one there. I wonder if that's going to be an option for us to actually do as like a side quest or something like maybe even a, not with like the initial game launch but maybe it's like an an updated quest that they give us like at a later date like you know maybe next year or something like that or uh towards halloween or christmas but that could be really fun to sort of have an additional uh quest during one of the later updates you have to remember the game is going to be updated right so um quidditch even though they said it's not with the initial launch the quidditch little pitch looks amazing i i'd be very surprised if they didn't have quidditch on the back burner for us and I'm sure like you know additional quests if we want to transform I'm sure we're gonna have some options there 
again, I'm hoping within the year. So very excited about that. Okay, anyways, a bit of a side thing. I tend to do that. I, I stream a lot. So talking about all kinds of stuff and the segues, they get opened and closed at a later time. But point is, is that uh, that is all we know about all the professors, at least right now. I'm basically like a, a sitting or walking, depending on what I'm doing, book of, I guess, an official Harry Potter encyclopedia. I guess that's a thing. That's me. Can you buy me though? <laughs> off of Amazon? Nope. 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 You can't. But uh, I am a useful free source of information, right? It's perfect. Um, anyways, I hope you guys um, enjoyed the video. If you haven't given me a magical thumbs up yet, now is your time before the video is over. And I hope I do see many of you guys for lunch day, which is literally just... Oh, it's so close. While I'm shooting this, it's so close. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys for uh, the next video or maybe I'll see you at the stream. Bye.